Young girl don't want that back calling me splurge. Drop me jump right on the curve. Bet this might fly like a bird. Spin on the first to the third. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Good morning. Today is Sunday, January 14th. Man, my Texans just won yesterday. Like, this is this is wild. Like, I I don't even know what to expect, man. Like, this is just this is just like I'm in I'm in hog heaven right now, man. Like, my Texans really won yesterday. So, I was at work <clears throat> telling um my coworker at work, I'm like, yo, before we left the office. Throughout the whole week, pretty much, I've been telling him, like, hey, my Texans gonna win, man. And he's from California, so he doesn't really uh, subscribe to Houston sports. But he's like, he's like, well, you know, y'all have um, overachieved, and, you know. And I said we were going to win seven games. And he was like, uh, you know, before the season started, after I went to the training camp, he was like, oh, no, I don't think so, this and that. But then once he saw he was like, he's like, you did say seven. And I was like, I'm telling you, I believe. And, you know, and he's like, He's like, well, we'll see. He was like, uh, he don't want me to come in the office this week sad if we lose and stuff like that. I'm like, we're not going to lose. We're going to win. So, yesterday, man, 45, was it 45-14? CJ Stroud, three TDs, 274 yards, um, zero interceptions. The kid is the GOAT. And, like I said, this is not a sports talk channel or anything like that. So, don't don't expect me to like go full in depth or anything like that. But, there's a clip surfacing around um, Facebook where um, there's a camera angle and you have CJ Stroud looking this way and you have the Sean Washington just staring him down and it's just like the Sean Washington is looking like you can see the hate in his eyes and I'm like I sent, I sent this to some of the brothers I'm like man I could t I, I know the Sean Washington is hurt I was like because he was here not too long ago and he had the city support and he didn't want to play for us, right? He felt like it was the, the team, you know, it was not good enough, stuff like that. Which he did have valid reasons, to be to be honest, kind of, because um, Bill O'Brien, they the Texans just the organization was was horrible. Um, they had some dude named Jack Easterby or whatever, and he was influencing what was going on, stuff like that. Bill O'Brien traded away DeAndre Hopkins, I think because Hopkins got into it with him and um, Easterby or something like that, so traded him away to the Cardinals for like that sorry running back, I don't, I don't even remember his name, um, he was like some West or something like the trash, and then that's when JJ was like, yeah, I'm done, I don't want to play here no more, then Deshaun Watson was like, I don't want to play here, this and that, you know, he started benching, he wanted them to trade him, and then, um, but my thing with Deshaun Watson was you signed that massive contract. Like, that was a record deal contract. Like, I think that was like the biggest contract at that time. And uh, I think it was even bigger than Patrick Mahomes' contract. It was a huge contract. And then the following season, you don't want to play for us no more. So that that hurt. Then that's when the scandal came out and stuff like that. So we ended up getting rid of him, trading him away, got some picks from the Browns, and look what we did with him, you know? So. Hey, we got one more pick for the Browns this upcoming year. It's going to be in, I'm pretty sure, in the 20s since the Browns season just ended in the postseason, the wild card. So, we'll see how that go. I think we need another corner. Um, um What's his name? A a Megma or something like that from Ohio State. He's going back to Ohio State. So, next year we'll see. Not this upcoming draft, but the following year we'll see what, if we can snag up another receiver. But I think we need another corner or a DT this offseason. This, um, what you call it, but we ain't talking about that. We won yesterday, man. That's all that matters. We won. Um, and like I go, I went off track a little bit, but Deshaun Watson, yeah, he was sitting there and, and you can see the hate in his eyes. And he's look from my point of view, it seems from my way of thinking, it seems like he's like, dang, the seat was just behind me. I said they were dog shit and stuff like that. And then now this young kid comes in and the city is supporting him more than they supported me, it seems like. Um, and and one of the brothers was like, he's like, it looks like this young kid had the same um, opportunity that Deshaun Watson had, but this young kid's taking advantage of it. And it seems like Deshaun Watson is like, wow, he sees what could have happened if he really truly bought in, he didn't buy in like that. And we're, and personally, for me observing Deshaun Watson, when I was following him, I had to unfollow him on Instagram because it seemed like he doesn't have the desire for football no more. He's always um, going to... Uh, Napa or somewhere with his girl and it's like bro you're supposed to be training why are you not training like every post you see him in a fashion a fresh fit I guess you could say and he's in 
Denver somewhere with his girl. He's in France with his girl. It's like, bro, you supposed to be balling. You supposed to be training, bro. Like, like, you know. So it is what it is. But we won. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I got up this morning, went to the gym um, at eight o'clock. Got a quick session in. Um, hey man, I got my little so cheat code. If your company offers HSA, do HSA, bro. I know I'm young, so it's like the highest deductible you have to pay. So I don't have to go to the doctor that much. So I'm young. So, but my job pays part of my health insurance. I pay the other part. I take a part of my uh, paycheck or whatever. So like the deductible, my deductible is like 3,500. So at the end of the year, I have 3,500 if I don't spend no money of it, right? So as y'all know, the uh, what's it called? Liquid IV, stuff like that. Liquid IV is not an HSA approved. I'm starting to see these like liquid IV type things, whatever you want to call them. They are HSA approved. That's crazy. So I have one that's called Drip Drop. I seen recently that that one's HSA approved. I actually bought those when I went to Austin. That was my first time trying those. And then they have this new one I saw on Amazon called Cure. Let me see if it can focus on that. Yeah, it's called Cure. And it's something I found on, on um, Amazon. And it's like, uh, it's like a, a woman-owned company, women-owned company, and it's rehydrated with electrolytes from coconut water and pink Himalayan salt, and so it's HSA approved. So I was like, let me buy a little box and try them. It's pretty legit, man. I found it on Amazon, so um, I think I'm gonna I'm probably buy like 30 of them right now. Order them on Amazon, and um, because I want to have something I can keep at work, so at my desk, so when I get to work. I just pour it in a water bottle and drink it because in the morning I'm kind of rushing and stuff like that. Doesn't taste bad. No added sugar. Actually tastes pretty good, you know. So that's what that is. Pink Himalayan salt and all that. So keep you hydrated. Um, what else am I doing today? Um, as y'all seen in the last video, I posted um about the garden. Showed y'all that. So um, that was actually yesterday I recorded that. So there's no point of me even going on, going on, uh, show y'all that or anything like that. It is what it is on that. Um, tomorrow is Martin Luther King um, day. So I'll be off from work. I'm gonna go to the gym once again, eight in the morning, um, and just continue to do things, man. Um, I'm constantly paying off debt. I'm almost there. Uh, I have. I'm about to, this this month I'll pay off um another credit card so I'm 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 knocking things out man like like I said man I ain't gonna I ain't gonna do too much talking man we all about business so we we knocking things out um what else man <clears throat> um I think that's pretty much it man I don't, I don't have too much really I want to say I just wanted to get on here and just and just talk about how my Texans won yesterday like that's I believed but. Just showing the world. The world didn't believe, you know. And all I'm going to say is, like, what, uh, what's his name said? Uh, John Morant. Stay on that side, man. Stay on that side. Now everybody want to be CJ fans, uh, Texan fans. Like, bro, I went to HEB yesterday. HEB. I went to, where did I go get? Got some beer and some cooking oil so we can cook the wings. HEB. Everybody, it's like I saw so many Texan jerseys. Of course, I had on my Stroud jersey, you know. So it was just crazy, though. Like it's 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 good to be back in the city and um, and see us winning. Um, Rockets got a little bit more work to do. They 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 gonna be there soon, though. I got support. I got my Rockets jersey in there. I got well, well I touched. I got three Texans jerseys. One's on the wall. Y'all can see it back there. Um, I got a picture of all the autographs on top too. Um, I got two in there. And then New Jersey's coming out next uh, draft. So I got to buy some more jerseys then. You know, I'm supporting my Texans. Y'all already know I always supported my Texans. So, yeah, man. Just wanted to get on here and just rant. Uh, not rant, but rave about my Texans. And, and rant about how the uh, um, the world announcers didn't want to give us our, 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 our flowers. But, you know, we most likely we'll have Baltimore. That's the Steelers win tonight. We'll go to Kansas City. But if not, we're going to Baltimore next week. Dub City. I'm feeling it. Dub City. Um, thank y'all for tuning in, man. Um, make sure y'all rate, subscribe, and comment. Um, hey.
Thank y'all for tuning in. I love you, say. See y'all.